Hello, this is a new and somewhat experimental video to try to show you some of the new features in Keynote. Now, I'm sorry I'm using the uh, built-in camera because I've packed away my standard teleprompter fancy camera setup, and I am using the live video feature in Keynote, which isn't brand new, but which is still relatively new to the program. If you were to select live video, and you could just insert live video from the media menu here, then you can choose to mask the video in a certain uh, way. You can try to change the scale of how the video is presented. Um, you know, so you can make it square, you can make it widescreen, you can round the corners however you wish. This is pretty good. So if you want to appear live in your keynote as you present, quite possibly a useful option for Zoom if you wanted everything to be self-contained or you can only share one screen, for example, then hey, this is a good way to go. Now, one other new feature which only showed up today in the new Keynote 12.1 is dynamic backgrounds. You can use one of the new themes or you can use any existing uh, template and then just select the background and go to the Format tab up here and then switch from standard, which is boring, to dynamic, which is new and fun. Now, there's plenty of presets and they all behave a little bit differently. I've got rainbow selected at the moment, but if you hover over it, you'll see there's other ones, ocean floor, Neptune, jade cliffs, and then there's more off to the side. Okay, now you can store your own if you want to make changes, but there's three pages here of really interesting stuff to explore. So if I was to start at Rainbow, you can click one of these. Sorry, let me just try that again. Click and then pick a new color on there. It's a little bit finicky sometimes. And then you can change the color of part of this animated gradient. So this could be handy, matching clients' colors, creating a rainbow. You can adjust the scale and also the speed. Now, be careful of animating too quickly. You are going to distract your audience if you do that. So I would keep speed down and maybe scale, in this case, fairly small to keep the results fairly subtle if you want to use this. Now, a quick tour through some of the others. Note that these controls down here are different for each of the presets. So you can go for the ocean floor and I'll just show you what the options do here. You can control how fast it changes. You can control how high the mountains are with, and you can control, I guess, how many mountains you're seeing with peaks. It's really a zoom in, zoom out. We've got this one, which is kind of like flying through clouds or over dunes. And again, you've got speed, height and peaks, but a different set of colors really gives this a very different feel. We've got a really simple two position gradient at a different angle. So far, these are all fairly similar. But it does change if you go to Jade Cliffs. You've got movement. So this isn't really warping up and down. You're flying over this, which is great. We've then got this one, which is a little bit more softer and abstract. So speed, amplitude, wavelength, and how much in focus the background is. This is really cool. And yes, you can change the colors here as well. We've got some more. Gradients. Let's crank up. This is but this is more like a cloud-based fractal. This is really fun, and you can make this look a bit more like the old Satori screensaver from After Dark, which is extremely cool. And I'd love to see this with some really out there colors as well. We've got this speed, height, and peaks. So this one starts out pretty abstract, but it is based, I think, from one of the same presets as before. And we've got more. We've got black smoke. We've got, what is this green one? This is a really nice abstract one, lime juice. And this one is almost building a khaki pattern in the background. Though, of course, you can change the colors and it's going to be feel a lot less green. This one is like a mirrored version of the wavelength. But again, change the colors, it'll be totally different. And then we've got other ones which are, again, playing on that hills and wavelength methods. We've got the lava lamp, again, like the khaki one. We've got another simple gradient, another wavelength one, but a good example of 
how the different uh, colors can really change how this looks. And another one which is again like flying through underwater. Now if you do want to make your own variations on these, Go ahead and do that. Maybe change the colors. Maybe I can make a sunset variation on one of these. I think I'll have to close that one down. Let's click, ooh, click away. That's better. Now that's kind of fun. All right, let's, there we go. Let's say I like that. If you've created a preset, all you need to do Sorry, if you've created something you like to make the preset, just hit the plus and then it'll be saved, at least in this file. So the new stuff in Keynote then, pretty helpful. Be careful making something too crazy. It is going to distract your audience, but just a little movement, something subtle in the background, and it's going to be pretty helpful. And you can explore this on the Mac, the iPad and the iPhone as well. So. This is great. The more chances we have to make cool, abstract, digital moving art, the better. There aren't enough apps that do that. Cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.